In the microRNA report folder, you will find an HTML file and a folder titled SRC. The purpose of this file is to give you a quick look at the types of results that are included with your analysis. Consider this file a roadmap to guide you through what can be an otherwise overwhelming data set. This report contains some explanation of methods and results and enables you to view an abbreviated version of some of the tables and figures present in your data set. At the end of each subsection of this report, you can find the location of the document or documents in the final report folder that contains the entire data set. When viewing the HTML file, you can navigate between the sections of the report using the menu on the left side. The first report section contains general information about the methods we use to complete the library preparation and sequencing of your samples and the bioinformatics pipeline used for analysis of your raw data. The next section describes the details of your project, your samples, the databases used for sequence alignment, and the specific software used for the data analysis. The first results subsection of the HTML report gives you an overview of the read characteristics of the sequencing results. The full data set can be found in the Sequencing Data Overview subfolder of the final report folder. Raw reads were subjected to an in-house program, ACGT 101, to remove adapter dimers, junk, low complexity, common RNA families such as ribosomal RNA and transfer RNA and repeats. The table and pie charts illustrate the results of this analysis. Length distribution data is also shown here. The next results subsection contains the identified conserved and novel microRNAs for each sample. The full data set can be found in the microRNA expression subfolder of the final report folder. Unique sequences with lengths of 18 to 26 nucleotides were further blasted against the MIR-based database of microRNAs and the genome of the sample species as well as related species to detect conserved and novel microRNAs. All sequences are categorized into groups according to these mapping results. This diagram illustrates the flow of data through the mapping process and the grouping of sequence reads. The table reports the raw and normalized expression values and read counts for each microRNA detected. Some detail on the normalization process can also be found here. For more information and a further description of each of the different sequence classification groups, refer to the full table in the microRNA expression subfolder. Even greater detail of the mapping results can be found in the Map Data subfolder. Here you will find an alignment text file for each of the sequence groups. These files illustrate how the sequence reads are aligned and clustered to the pre-microRNAs. The sum file for each group gives the detailed statistics for the read clustering. Note that the expression value reported for each microRNA is the sum of the reads of all the microRNAs that were clustered together as a result of alignment. The next result subsection of the HTML report displays the differential expression analysis between samples. You will find a table for each of the group comparisons specified on your analysis request form in the differential microRNAs folder. In this example, there is just a single comparison of the test group versus the control group. In this table, you will find the fold change, the log base two-fold change, and the direction of the regulation of each individual microRNA between the compared groups. Also included here is a p-value, which is a measure of the statistical significance of the change. Remember, this is a truncated table. In the full Excel table, the microRNAs are sorted by p-value, with a lower value being more significant. A bar plot, a volcano plot, and a heat map are included for visualization of the differentially expressed microRNAs. You will find additional subfolders within the summary subfolder which are not displayed in the HTML file. These files contain more detail on the genome location and clustering of pre-microRNAs, the conservation of the identified microRNAs, 
and the grouping of microRNA families. The next report section displays the results of the microRNA target prediction and enrichment analysis. This data is contained in the Target Enrichment Analysis folder, and the purpose of this analysis is to enable functional interpretation of the experimental expression data. Target prediction and enrichment analysis is performed for all microRNAs, considered to be significantly differentially expressed based on p-value and fold change criteria calculated for each comparison. To predict the genes targeted by the differentially expressed microRNAs, computational target prediction algorithms were used to identify microRNA binding sites. Then the GO terms and CAG pathways of these predicted microRNA targets were annotated. The first table in this section presents a summary of the results. The next table displays a list of the significantly enriched GO terms. A p-value is also included as a measure of significance for each term. This value is calculated by the equation as shown from the variables which are defined in the report. A bar plot and a scatter plot are included for visualization of the GO enriched terms for each comparison. A similar analysis is included in the CAG enrichment folder for enrichment of pathways from the Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes collection of databases. In addition to the chart and scatter plot of enriched pathways, this analysis also includes graphical pathway maps which are described in the report and found in the keg picture subfolder for each comparison. The HTML file for each pathway map contains clickable map objects that link to the keg database and enable further study of the enriched pathways revealed by your data analysis. The final report subsection contains the results of the microRNA network analysis. This data is contained in the network result folder. A representative image of a microRNA network constructed by the Cytoscape software is shown. Cytoscape is an open source software platform for visualizing molecular interaction networks and biological pathways and integrating these networks with annotations and gene expression profiles. The core elements of the Cytoscape analysis, node files and edge files, are deposited in the node info and network subfolders. After downloading and opening Cytoscape software, you can then load the edge files and node files to visualize the results. For more details on this analysis, visit the Cytoscape website.